sorry, uh, sorry ahead of time for the blurriness of my camera. Um, I try and zoom in and it doesn't want to get a clear picture. And this is about as clear as I can get it. But I'm doing a little video on the Toshiba 1.8 inch hard drive. And uh, this one is from my Zune. Uh, the one that I featured um, a video on or will be featuring a video on. Um, and this one has a read error and write error. And it's a basically redundant boot sector seek and it cannot perform the sector task. But I did find something rather interesting um, about the, um, the board. Um, you'll see there's the ZIF connector right here. And then there are three pins on this side. And there's another two on this side. And I found out that the pin closest to the ZIF connector, um, which has a white wire now soldered onto it, and the pin closest to the outside of the case is also a negative connector. Um, for power. So what I've done here is um, I've taken and I soldered on a small connector right here that I'll, uh, I'll plug into a uh, 3.7 lithium ion battery. Even though these things are designed to only take 3.3 volts, 3.7 um, volts is still um, low enough not to damage the drive. And I have pre-inserted um, um, Phillips screwdriver uh, screws in here so this will only take um, a second or so. Uh, for each screw. Remove one. Remove all two. And there are four star-shaped screws on one of these that hold the case together. And you'll see that in a little bit. Well, Okay, um, now the next part to take off this main plate, so you're going to want to pop the outside shell off right here. It may be um, held on. I already took this apart and so it comes off pretty easily. And you'll see here the uh, control board. The ones for the uh, Apple iPod are a little bigger than the ones for the Zune. This one is a ZIF connector, not a mini IDE. And we'll uh, we'll show you how the how the actual inside of the drive um, looks. Pop off the cover here. Even without the screws, it's still quite sealed. And there's the inside of the drive. Now, what I wanted to show you was that you can connect the drive up to an external power source using those two pins on the docking connector. Um, I'm using uh, the white for the plus lead and the black for my negative. And we'll, uh, we'll connect this up as follows. Okay, the heads are currently stuck right here. See if we can free them up. And when you hear clicking noise in your iPod or your Zune, this is what it's trying to do. And your boot sector is located right around here on the inner side of the disk. And your information is written in what's called partitions along the outside of the disk. And the read head cannot pick up where it's supposed to dock along the boot partition and it keeps repeating the same process over trying to read that center portion of the disk. After a while, it'll give up, as you can see, and it will go back to idle read. And the nice thing about these drives um, is that the actual read and write heads park off the disk onto this platform, which will ramp the read head, read head right off the, the disk. So even though this is still um, still spinning, unlike most hard drives, um, it'll dock it off the disk. 
This is a safety feature in case of shock. And it is running idle right now. There you have it. The 1.8 Hitachi Drive. Or not Hitachi, um, Toshiba.